Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I haven't done a lot of talking about escape rooms on this channel in a while and I thought I'd make a quick video about one of the escape room elements my students built. Uh, this is probably a year old or something like that and their challenge was to build a dynamic escape room that was portable and uh, so it was something that they just used in the school wasn't made to be professional but it was made to kind of teach them all the different elements of coding and hardware and and stuff like that and uh, my personal opinion is when it comes to escape rooms that uh, I don't really like the idea that if you go into the same escape room a second time you already know all the answers you already know everything you have to do so I'm a big fan of making escape rooms dynamic meaning that uh, there are way more clues and way more puzzles in the room than you actually need and that depending on what the database says uh, these things either come into play or don't and so I'll explain a little bit of what I'm talking about this one is a very very simplistic uh, puzzle and because this one was actually it was made by middle schoolers uh, for the elementary school kids to play uh, this one is particularly spelled out but let me show you a little bit what we have here we have five little toggle switches uh, little automotive style ones that say on and off at the top and we have a little push button here if you open it um, normally I would make this with something like an ESP uh, 32 or ESP 8266 but because this was for middle school um, I just had them all do Ethernet and what they did was they wired all the grounds together and uh, and soldered up wired up the six buttons to the mega uh, popped an ethernet shield on there it's powered by usb uh, they scraped out as much of the foam as they could i was kind of hoping a little bit more foam would come out of this thing but the way this works um, it can be done two ways very simply um, you can either have this thing send a get request or an mqtt request so what does the escape room element look like uh, in this situation you were trying to rescue one of the teachers and you had to get out some different security you had to get through some different security uh, elements I'd say and one of them was you had to answer these true false questions and the way that it would work was there was just a screen over on the side and it would give you these true false questions and you would flip the switches in one direction if they were true another direction if they were false now if this was a real escape room uh, they might just be up on the wall and there'd be nothing to draw attention to it but what you would do is you would put the switches in the right position and then push the button and find out exactly how many you got right or wrong and so there's a ton of different ways you could implement something like this in a real escape room but I thought what I would do is take you over to the computer and show you how things look behind the scenes so there are a few things that make this type of escape room different uh, this is made for more of a camp or a school where you're getting groups of five or ten people through and the goal is to get them through in about 10 minutes or so per group and you want to be able to reset the entire room in less than five uh, the way this works is instead of counting down like a lot of escape rooms do this one counts up and every time you have a major screw up you get a 30 second penalty and every time there's a minor one you get a 10 and all that's calculated in there where these these times are added up and you get a final score here uh, so in this situation you want to spell things out pretty uh pretty clearly so when they're in the room they're going to see something like this uh, you've disarmed this many security systems now i've done this as a bank where this is on the atm screen uh, in this situation they were breaking into some other kind of i think they were breaking into like a server closet or something like that uh, but anyway so this one is super spelled out where you get these questions you're just told what to do um, you can obviously get rid of the instructions but uh, so there's some questions on there they know how to appease their teacher cowboys suck um, and so what happens is you see this on the screen you put the switches and you submit if you don't get it right if you don't get all six of them you actually get a 10 second penalty for every one that you're off and so you could be off three and three and you switch three of them and you wind up getting two right and four wrong then you can get another 40 second penalty and so it, it's kind of uh it's kind of funny to see people go through and try to work this problem out now what does the arduino do so the arduino simply when you push that button reads the position of each of those six switches and puts that in a message where they're just uh the positions are just spelled right out so 
what's going on after that is that is actually sent to a PHP file and you can see here that we have this uh, and I, I have a lot of diagnostic stuff on here because this is for the students so the students are learning how to write these database queries they're learning how to figure out uh, you know if these questions are true or false or something like that so what happens is uh, you're just passing to this up down dot PHP the position of those switches and you got three wrong boy and so the kids put like a little message there and so it tells you how many you got wrong and all that stuff and uh, and so they scroll through here and every time you pass um, a different set of variables you got two wrong you dumb <laughs> you dumb okay so yeah you uh, you pass different information to those students or to the PHP file and it's gonna calculate and you'll see if we go back to the score thing uh, in this situation that last one was I guess it is uh, it's one major penalty if you get it wrong so you can do it either way major or minor penalties but every time you get um, you don't get it perfect you got too wrong you dumb you get another penalty that comes up on the scoreboard so um, so that's generally how it works now behind the scenes we have uh some databases now again this is really spelled out uh but they've got a database with questions in there where the kids came up with some true or false questions and they just put whether it was true or false and then what happens is when you go to reset the game um, you just load reset.php and it gives you an entire new set of questions so in this situation this is one escape room element this is a different one and this is a different one and each of these are dynamic and so every single time you go through the escape room the questions are different the ways through this puzzle is different this one's different and and as you have more elements they're all different every time you go through and uh, so now when I refresh this page you're gonna see that we have different questions here uh, so Oh, one, one other thing just to show you here, there is a game manager thing here, so whoever is in the back running the game can see the answers to the questions and can, uh, you know, get relevant information. So that is a very simple escape room element. I'll put the code in the description. It's probably something you're going to have to tweak for your own uses, but I thought I'd share. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.